It's going to have like four showers, you know, it's going to have a bigger dining room, bigger kitchen, you know. Joe Warren just can't hide it. Ah! <laughs> He's ecstatic for this pile of dirt. I might have a home and I might have more than one pair of pants. It's not just the dirt, it's what's being built here. A new $6 million shelter, but it won't be a giant building like most. It's going to be a village of 32 homes, half of them for families, the other half for single individuals. It truly is a place where people who are often turned away can be welcomed with open arms and have their own home with their own front porch with their own flower bed. That may be tough to picture right now. Many of Norman's homeless live like this in camps. That's because this shelter is only open in the winter. But the new community of homes will change that, giving people a roof over their heads all year long. You're not trying to find a place where it's not raining, like over there at the train depot. More than just a home, those close to the project say it also sends a message. It's showing the greater area, the greater community, the world around us, that the city of Norman believes in investing in people from the bottom all the way up to the top. It won't be all dirt and heavy machines for long. The shelter's director hopes that all 32 homes will be built here by the end of this year. Lindsay Gomez, OU Nightly.